We've learned a lot more about a suspicious death in Faribault. It was first reported yesterday afternoon. Tonight, police confirm it is a homicide. Renee Cooper is live in Faribault tonight with the other new details we're hearing from investigators. Renee. Lindsay, police chief John Sherwin is calling the cause of death at this point homicidal violence. But investigators are still waiting for the full autopsy report as of this hour. Chief Sherwin did say that they believe it was a man in his 70s who was killed in his home on Mitchell Drive. No weapons were disclosed, but the chief says the victim had multiple trauma wounds. Police, the Minnesota BCA and the medical examiner are also working to figure out exactly when the man died. The chief says it all began with a welfare check yesterday afternoon, called in by someone who was at the home for a scheduled appointment. Chief Sherwin says that person, quote, observed some things that caused concern about the man's well-being. And that's when officers responded and found his body. The chief also reporting today that the man's car was missing. And after sending out a regional alert, investigators discovered a law enforcement agency in Iowa had it. And local police are now processing that for evidence. Neighbors tell me the victim lived alone and often kept to himself. And they barely knew the man. They say moved on to their sleepy street a couple of years ago. Seemed a nice enough gentleman. So uh, anyway, it just kind of a shock to see something like this happen in your neighborhood. This type of violence uh, or, you know, a, a homicide investigation will go a year or two without a murder. Uh, and so it, it's, it's something that uh, certainly has had an impact on the community. Faribault police saying they have not made any arrests at this point, but they do believe that the victim and suspect or possibly suspects had a prior relationship before this happened. They're saying unlikely there's a risk to the public, although the police chief saying be vigilant and report any suspicious activity to police. In Faribault tonight, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.